So this matchup will be between the Incredible Hulk and the Incredible Pit from Image Comics. Superstar artist Dale Keown began publishing Pit at Image Comics in 1993. In 1995, the publication of Pit was moved over to Full Bleed Studios, Dale Keown's own company. Pit is a human-alien hybrid, created by an alien race known as the Creed, genetically engineered to serve as a killing machine. He appears more alien than human, with red eyes, gray skin, absence of a nose, sharp teeth, and large claws that can tear through anything. People compare Pit to the Hulk for no valid reason, in my opinion, as he didn't present any feat beyond the Hulk's weaker incarnations, let alone the extremely powerful incarnations such as World War Hulk, and the World Breaker. But to maintain credibility, Dale Keown published only 21 issues of Pit, so we didn't see much of his abilities, and there is no way to compare his feats to those of the Hulk, which expand for decades since the 60s. Pit has vast superhuman strength. He uses pain as a stimulant. When Pit arrived on Earth, he materialized in a New York City subway near his little half-brother Timmy and saved him and his grandfather from muggers. Overpowering muggers is usually a feat accomplished by non-superpowered heroes such as Batman and Nightwing, so there is no need to elaborate much on this. He then confronted some gangsters and easily overpowered them. In this confrontation, one of the gangsters shot Pitt with some machine gun, and that actually damaged him to some extent and caused him to bleed. Now, it's true that he uses pain as stimulant in his fights, but there is no way to compare his durability to the Hulk, who takes nukes unharmed, even in the very beginning, and before turning green, the Grey Hulk's durability surpassed that of Pitt, as bullets bounced off his body and couldn't even scratch him. In another confrontation with some criminals, Pitt got shot in the head by some machine gun from a very close distance. This also caused him to bleed, but didn't stop him from rampaging the robbers. Pitt once was attacked with some of the Creed advanced weaponry, and he was damaged and bleeding from the attack. But again, that didn't stop him from overpowering his opponents, making use of his pain as stimulant and his healing factor. Hulk, on the other hand, doesn't even bleed from such attacks. Professor Hulk was proving completely indomitable against the trans Sabalian weapons, which didn't even put a scratch on his body. On another occasion, the savage Grey Hulk took Human Torch's Nova Burst unharmed after he overpowered both the Human Torch and the Thing. The Nova Burst can reach 1 million Fahrenheit, yet it did nothing to the Hulk more than clearing his mind. Pitt definitely has a regenerative healing factor, but I'm not questioning his healing as much as his durability. He gets damaged from traditional weaponry that cannot even put a scratch on the Hulk. Pitt can also leap several kilometers in one bound, as we see here in these scans, when he tried to catch the spaceship, but he failed. This can't be compared to the incredible leaps of the Hulk, who can reach the outer space with one bound. When Pitt went to the, to the Creed Ice Fortress and tried to break in to save his brother Timmy, the ice layer was broken and he eventually fell into frozen water. That didn't stop him and he finally managed to reach the interior of the fortress. But the ice water was a shock to his system and he had to rest in order to regenerate. When Hulk fought Mr. Frost, the villain covered him completely in ice, but that didn't even slow the Hulk, as he easily broke free and overpowered the villain. Hulk's abilities of adaptation way surpass that of Pitt, as he has been shown durable enough to survive unprotected in space for long periods of time, regardless of the incarnation. Green Hulk, for example, fought the robot God's Eye on the moon, unprotected and managed to overpower him, with Nick Fury stating that the Hulk's mutation will alter his body to adapt even to zero atmosphere environments. Mr. Fixit Hulk on another occasion smashed an asteroid twice the size of Earth in outer space without having any trouble surviving space vacuum. Hulk can also breathe underwater because he has grown some sort of gland, making oxygenated emulsion that fills his lungs, equalizes pressure, avoids decompression, 
and nitrogen narcosis. Hulk's healing allows him to overpower and negate thallium, the deadliest poison in the Marvel Universe, in a matter of seconds. This poison was supposed to take the Hulk down when combined with the Scorpion's Stinger. Professor Hulk fought Pitt in a crossover which was published in 1997. They both fight in the whole story without a clear winner between the two. Although non-canon, but this indicates that Pitt might be as strong as the calm genius Hulk who doesn't get stronger the matter. This crossover has been uploaded on my second channel. I leave an annotation for those who haven't watched it yet. So in short, Pitt doesn't match the Hulk in sheer strength, as we don't see him lifting incalculable weights or preventing planets from ripping apart or destroying time barriers or smashing asteroids twice the size of Earth. Pitt only engages superpowered aliens from the Creed race and he usually overpowers them. Pitt also doesn't match the Hulk in durability or healing, as we see him getting damaged and bleeding from traditional weaponry. Granted, he uses pain as stimulant to become more aggressive in fights, but the point is that regular ammunition doesn't even scratch the Hulk, who takes nukes unharmed. Pitt's ability of adaptation is also not on par with that of the Hulk, as low temperature may shock his system. Contrary to the Hulk, who has withstood the equivalent of solar temperatures, nuclear explosions, and planet-shattering impacts. Hulk has also survived in the vacuum of space, thanks to his mutation, which can adapt to zero atmosphere environments, and has also developed some sort of gland to allow him to breathe in water. Pitt is definitely not that level. I've uploaded Pitt complete run on the second channel. I leave an annotation for those who want to know more about this interesting character. That was all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to all my channels. Find links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and have a nice one.